Hey guys, Tyson here with Adventure Rig. Callie and I are currently up Big Cottonwood Canyon in Utah, where we have finally found winter. It's snowing, it's cold, a lot different than what it's been like in Colorado for us, where it's been 40s and 50s and sunny. I have been wearing this Dekine Mercer jacket through a lot of different conditions, combined with these Dekine Smith pants, which I've also reviewed, so be sure to check that one out. Now this jacket is really built tough. I mean, if you're gonna find yourself in all types of conditions, in all different types of weather, this is the jacket you want. This is three layer Gore-Tex. It is guaranteed to keep you dry. No matter what the situation, you're gonna be dry. I love the fit of the jacket. I was a little bit nervous because they call this a contour fit. I, however, am not a contour guy. I have a 43 inch chest. I weigh about 200 pounds. I wasn't sure if I was gonna get a lot of movement out of this and really just how tight it would be. If I turn to the side though, I mean these arms are extremely long. I love it. Really like the length of the arms. My cuffs are extremely large. I've got them tight a little bit. If I loosen them all the way up, you have a lot of room coming in at the end of the arm. No matter what size gloves you're wearing, no matter how big the cuffs are on those, you're gonna be able to fit them inside of this jacket. You also have a gaiter on the inside. If you're gonna find yourself in the super gnarly conditions, you may wanna throw that on prior to entering. Another thing I like about it is it's not overly tight. Some jackets I put on and that gaiter is just has a death grip and it cuts off circulation, I feel like, to my fingers. This one is a little bit loose, which I really like. It also has a ton of pockets on it. I've got two down low. They have flaps over them, but what is nice is they also zip completely open and closed. You can fit a lot of stuff in those two pockets alone. Also on my chest, I have these pockets that run at an angle. Now, the one thing with these is I find that they're not extremely easy to zip open and zip close because of the angle that they run at. And then trying to get into them, it's just not the most friendly pocket design in my personal opinion. I still use them, they're huge, I can fit a ton of crap in them. They're just kind of cumbersome to get in and out of. But don't worry, they've got you covered because they've got the two huge pockets on the bottom. Another thing I really like about this jacket is the media pocket. It's underneath this storm flap. So you don't actually have to unzip the jacket and go inside to access any media. Just has a nice little zipper right here and a nice large pocket. I can fit my phone in there. I've got an iPhone 6. An iPhone 6 fits in there. I don't know for you guys that have those phones that look like tablets, they may not quite fit, but an iPhone 6 does. And then you can run the cord right through and up the collar into your ears. It's my, one of my favorite media pockets that I've seen so far. I really like the hood on the jacket. It's quite large, so if you're wearing a helmet, you can fit it on with my burn helmet. I find that it is a little bit tight on the very top. It definitely doesn't really restrict me, but I can just feel that it's a little bit tight, which is great though, because I'm not gonna get a lot of snow. Hopefully you're not skiing in the rain any water, anything going down the sides. On the back, I do have a drawstring that can cinch it down, as well as on the sides here, I have two buttons. So with the helmet on, it can be a little bit tight right here. But if you open those up, you get a lot more space out of it. It's a really cool feature that I haven't seen before, but I really like it. Going to the inside of the jacket, we're gonna talk about more pockets because you've got them. So why don't you use them? Got my power skirt button. Stand by, I'm frozen. I have two really large mesh goggle pockets. One on the left, one on the right. Plenty of room to stash goggles or whatever else you need to throw in there. The POW skirt has really come in handy lately, which I love because that means we're skiing POW. It does button right into the pants. I'm sure if you don't have these particular pants, you can still button into them. They just go around the belt loop. Two on the side, one in the back, nothing too special there, but it does keep the snow out, which is awesome. The exterior of the jacket is also extremely durable. I've hit a lot of trees with it. I don't have any tears, I don't have any rips, and I'm not even worried about it. I actually caught a branch on the hood, 
when I was trying to go underneath the tree and it kind of yanks me back a little bit and I thought oh, I may have just ripped something but it didn't do anything. I was actually really impressed. So not only is it gonna keep you dry, but it's also really durable, give you years of use. You can see that the collar is nice and tall and nice and big. So on those really cold days, you can be like a turtle and just go into your shell. It's perfect, covers the nose and it's big. So I don't feel too claustrophobic in it, which some jackets just kind of suck my whole neck in and I can't move, not with this one though. Again, this is the Dekine Mercer jacket. It's three layer Gore-Tex, guaranteed to keep you dry no matter what the conditions. The fit of this thing at six feet tall, 200 pounds is awesome. I love the length all the way around. Again, made by Dekine. Thanks for watching, I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig.